Hey everyone, it's Elijah's Bricks, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Yavin 4 Rebel Base. But before we get started, make sure you like, comment, turn on notification, and subscribe. LEGO fans have eagerly anticipated a LEGO Yavin 4 base since the prototype in 2008. So first off, I just realized that this set is modular and we get 6 instruction booklets, which is crazy and LEGO is encouraging family and friends to build together. Let's go on to the minifigures now. First we have Garvin Dreas. He has a brand new helmet which looks fantastic by the way. The outfit is used by Luke Skywalker in the 2021 X-Wing, I believe. Next we have John Vander or Ghoul Leader. He is an awesome minifigure with great printing. Also he has a brand new helmet piece. Next we have General Dodonna. He is the same minifigure from the X-Wing in 2021. Nothing special about Chewbacca, but he has his bowcaster which looks nice. Next we have a Rebel Fleet Trooper. I wish they added two, but it's a good figure overall. Next is a female Rebel crew member. Her torso and her face is new. She also has a wrench. Next is C-3PO. I did not get the trash compactor set, which this character came in, so it's good to get, and he has great arm printing. Next is R2-D2. He has back printing, but sadly, R2-BHD does not. Next, we have Princess Leia. Her hairpiece has been used a couple times for Padme Amidala, but overall, a good figure. Next is Han Solo. He comes with his medallion award, and it's a separate piece. And there's three medals that are included. One that you can put on Chewbacca, but it doesn't really fit. So I just have the medallion award on Chewbacca's arm. Like this. Lastly, we have Luke Skywalker. He comes with the same medallion award, and I love his torso. I think my favorite figures in the set are Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and Princess Leia. Let me know down in the comments down below if you agree. Now let's take a look at the Y-Wing. You can put R2BHD in there and there's a Easter egg in this Y-Wing. It's located in the cockpit. And it says 1977, the year Star Wars came out. Next is a ground crew transport. It's easy to put a minifigure on there. Like this. And I love the olive green color. Now let's go on to the actual base. Let me put a Y-Wing in the front doors. Let me show you. Here's the wiring. Now it's going through the front doors. Next, I will show you the base section by section. Let's start with the left side of the base. On the bottom, there are two cabinets. One is filled with a thermal detonator. And on the top, there's this cool targeting computer. And it's showing you the time left to destroy the Death Star. Next is the right side of the base. The exterior has some plans to add some detail. The bottom is empty, but the top has a scene where General Dodonna shows how to blow up the Death Star, which I think is an amazing detail that Lego added. I don't know what this is. Maybe a water machine on the back. You will see a Rebel logo. And on the back, there is a Y-Wing sticker. 
Next, I assume, is a connecting bridge. It doesn't have much, but it has a computer with the TIE Fighter, and it has this game feature where it moves two turrets at once, so you can shoot stud shooters, which is fun for kids. Second to last, we have the top section of the base. This section can hold the ceremony at the end of Star Wars The New Hope. For the ceremony, it is a t very tight space. You can probably fit four to five minifigures. Finally, we have this tree that is simple on the outside because it is hollow on the inside. This tree has a function in which you can take the Rebel Fleet Trooper, put in its tower, and bring it up to a higher point. I wish LEGO added a few more tree limbs and more Rebel Fleet Troopers. Okay, to wrap things up for the Yavin 4 base, first I have to give a thumbs up for LEGO for including 12 minifigures in a set under $200. The minifigures are great, great selection. I have no complaints about the figures, but I do wish they added one Rebel Trooper. So let's get the complaints out of the way. I wish they added more tree limbs to the tree, and I wish the top of the base was bigger so you could add more figures to the ceremony. But other than that, I think the set is fire. 9.5 out of 10. Let me know in the comments down below if you like the set and if you agree with my complaints. Hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching this week's video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.